This is a support for a beach umbrella. But it's just as good for a support for a telescopic mast, such as I use for antennas. This mast goes up to a bit over five meters, making it ideal to support a vertical wire antenna. For instance, a half ray vertical on 10 meters or a quarter ray vertical on 20 meters. The idea is that you just screw this into the ground and drop the pole in here. Very simple, no guy wires and only takes a moment to install. It's an alternative if you don't want to take a hammer or a longer bit of aluminium that you might otherwise hammer into the sand. The main thing to be aware of is that your mast is smaller and fits into the support. What do you do if your pole is too fat to fit in the base? One option is to use a broomstick. And so we have a self-supporting mast. I'm pretty confident that I'll get some contacts on 10 meters, so I've taken this basically monoband antenna and fed half wave. Here's the matching unit. Just one micro Henry and around 30 picofarad formed with this variable capacitor and about half wavelength of wire. Going to use some different equipment this time. A bit more power from this Rodeo Shack HTX10. Runs about 20 watts on SSB, AM and FM. The toroid in the antenna coupler should be enough for that power. QSL, QSL. Okay, so you're 59 Hotel November. Uh, QSL, ZSL, ZSL, one. Thank you, thank you. QRZ, Bravo, Delta 7, Delta Tango. Just can't make out what you're saying, I'm sorry. CQ10, CQ, CQ10, CQ, Victor Kilo, 8 November, Sierra Bravo. Yeah, good morning, Peter. Good morning, or good afternoon. 
not sure what time it is your way, yeah, Peter. Uh, good copy. You're about a five and three, five by three, yeah, Peter. And I think you said you were portable. Uh, VK3 Yankee Echo. Name Stuart. Uh, name Stuart. VK8 November. Sierra Bravo. Over. Having had three SSB contacts, I'll now try speaker to microphone FT8. You can't see it very well because of the light conditions, but I'm using the FT8 CN app. And on the HTX10, I'll go down to low power because of the mode's duty cycle. Stack of contacts on FG8, BD4 VOJ, 406 ARW Sri Lanka, Indonesia, quite a few Indonesia, Japan, more Japan, Indonesia, Japan. So those two countries dominated the FT8 contacts on 10 meters which is what you'd expect around the middle of the day as they are directly north. And for 10 meters, basically in the morning, you are working paths to the east. In the middle of the day, you're working paths directly north. And in the afternoon, you are working paths directly west, northwest, like towards Europe. Basically, the propagation follows the sun. So, pretty successful, and the contacts I made were almost all to Asia which is directly north so that way uh, Japan Indonesia etc especially on FT8 and VK8 which is that direction if I was here later then there would probably have been some contacts into Europe which is more that direction but overall this spike has been a handy accessory for the amateur radio station if you want to go portable and of course if you had two of these poles then you might be able to do something about a two element either phase verticals or some form of steerable beam antenna do you want to get the most from your portable qrp operating good antennas is a great place to start find out how i succeed with my two books hand carried qrp antennas and more hand-carried QRP antennas. They're big sellers with favorable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.